Hello everybody. Terrible starts of the video. This is this side up. Uh, it runs in a weird resolution. So just be ready for that when I change the scene. Um, it's by Tsunami with an S and a Z. It's coming out quarter one, 2024. They made Glass Tactics previously which is free on Steam so I don't know what's going to go on with this alright you ready? It's, it's odd it's odd good music though dear Fentonizer welcome to the exciting field of multi-gravitational logistics it's a bit loud actually isn't it it's a bit loud maybe it's, maybe it's fine maybe S says it's fine maybe who knows Look at this. Look at the uh, look at the not legally distinct from from a certain mega corporation. Jeff Boxos. Uh, let's on board, shall we? Oh look, it's timing me. Oh look, there's a thing. I mean, I guess fine. If you're gonna make a satire of capitalism, then I suppose you've got to do it quickly. Control the red worker with I J K L, and the yellow worker with W A S D. Get everything, every thing to its flag to beat the level. Reset with Shift R, and return to start with Escape. Why Shift R? All right, fine, fair enough. Oh my God, the yellow worker is. All right, please just make the make the red worker. We'll swap the places. All right. Don't make the odd controls the main control, the normal controls, right? Like, that's just... Did I break that? That's quite funny. Push the red box into there. Red worker goes here. Why does the red worker have to have a position, anyway? So you can see that everything's, like, on its own. It's on its own axis. And the yellow worker I'm controlling with the WASD, but W actually moves it up, so it's in its own it's not in its own frame of reference. Pressing A makes it jump, because A is the left-hand side of my keyboard, so it makes it jump, which, sure. We did it in 86.67 seconds. And now I have to put my hand back over to the mouse to click the level I want to go into before, good God. Rotate purple with QE. Rotate green with UO. I'm going to sneeze. Thank you to anyone who said bless you to their screen or phone. You are a real one. So I got four dudes. Rotate purple with Q and E. Oh, so I can't... I can only highlight... Yeah. Oh, no. No, 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 no. No. My brain. This is not going to be good. <laughs> this is not going to be good for my fragile little brain. Grab by pressing F or H. Release by pressing F or H again. Players can grab boxes and maybe even other players. Alright, yeah, so I, what I was saying before is that, yeah, I can rotate the control scheme. So I can actually control anyone with any combination of I, L, J, K, or W, A, S, D. I like how they're in a box and the animation is within the box. Like, that's cool. So K is to jump for this, like not. H is grab. Oh my god, no. Oh, no, no, no. No. Oh, this is going to be very, very difficult, isn't it? 
Triangular flags are for workers. Square flags are for boxes. I get that. I can respect that. God. That's cool. Time limit can get right in the frickin' bin, as far as I'm concerned. Not even a time limit, like just a leaderboards for time. Uh, what is? What even is it? Just global average? If it's the global average, don't... I will sit here for four days on each level, just to skew it. Push. Pick him up. Ah, <laughs> yeah, look at that. That's brilliant. Pick him up by his legs, fling him around. Um... Right, I haven't actually thought about how I'm going to solve this. Level. Whoa, what did I just do? I jumped with the blue guy, and in doing so, dragged the yellow guy, uh, the red guy, across. Sorry, I'm just playing. I'm not actually thinking about how to solve the level. Right, let's actually think about how to solve the level. Right, clearly, you have to be here, and then you can go here, and then go there. Oh no, maybe you need to go there so that I can jump on you like this. And then you need to go there so that gravity doesn't... Which way does he walk? Jump and move! Okay, that, that didn't feel good, I have to say. Yeah, and now that's going to happen. No. Shift R to reset. Even though I was already in a resettable position. It's fascinating quite how quickly my brain has managed to wrap its head around these controls. When they were typed out on the screen, it was just like, what? You want me to do what? Which way around is the best way to get this done? Because there's no way you make it over there, right? No, I didn't mean to do that! No, I didn't mean to do that. Right, okay, this is going to be a problem, isn't it? Because I have to now do the whole thing again, making one small mistake, despite just saying, Oh, I actually, I've actually learned the controls quite quickly. You seem to, do you seem to fall slower when you're not... I can get the blue guy to the flag quite easily, and I can get the red guy to the flag quite easily. I just don't know how to get them both to their respective flags quite easily. What I want is I want to, like, jump and have the red guy grab hold of this guy. But I don't think that's going to happen. No. Oh, now I have to go all the way back around. Oh, please, no. There's something here. There's definitely something good here, whether it is possible. <laughs> right. I can leave this here, right? And this doesn't break it. If I fail this jump, yeah, it's fine. I can make this jump from here on its own. Okay. No, what? But if I don't make it the first time, I have to reset the whole thing. Oh. It's a rewind function, doesn't it? Let's be honest. That may not even be the intended solution, because if you fail it, it's annoying. I think we'll have to see how many more levels come up that have a very fiddly puzzle platform or annoyance like that. I 
That was considerably easier than the previous level. I really don't like having to move my mouse back over to... Uh... So this is a triangle flag, so I don't actually need... Can I grab this on my way down? No. I guess I need the red guy up here. Cool. There must have been an easier way to do this level, right? You couldn't have asked me to be doing that, surely. Obviously the blue guy's never gonna... That just, it seems very fiddly what I did, considering how easy those other two levels were. Yeah, that's considerably easier. Considerably easier. Reset with shift R and return to start with escape. That's start, apparently. Return to start implies... Anyway. So there are yellow boxes that... Pick this up. I can pick this up. Oh god! Oh god! Oh god! Oh god! Was that good? Did I enjoy that? Not sure. Now there's a flipping orange dude. The yellow box needs to get there. Alright, so the blue guy... Need to be in control of the blue guy. Get this ready, and then the red guy, and then the orange guy. Yikes. Yikes. Not a fan of that. I've spoken about this before, but I'll speak about it again, because I don't expect everyone to have watched every single minute of every single one of my videos, so that would be madness. In a lot of pre-release promotional material for Portal there at Portal 2, there are levels that have timing aspects to it. In the final release, they got rid of them all, because they realised that actually they suck. Um... That doing a knowing how to do a puzzle but just getting the timing wrong is not particularly fun or enjoyable. That's cool. <laughs> this is strictly prohibited. Um, you know, they got rid of a lot of them. There are still some, are there? It's running through all of Portal 2 in my mind palace right now. Where there's a box falling through a portal, two, through two portals endlessly, and you have to use a faith plate to catch the box. Or there's a faith plate bouncing a box, and you have to go on a faith plate to catch the box at its apex. Yeah, that's definitely a level. But they're not levels whereby if you fail them, you have to start again. If you fail it, then you just do the jump again. Or if you don't, if you whack your face into the box and the box goes in the water, you just it just spawns another box for you. You're not forced to like die to reset the level. Um, whereas there's a level in the promo material specifically where there's uh, orange, no, blue, no orange, orange propulsion gel on the floor, and there's loads of crushers, and you just have to make your run through the things, and if you get it wrong, then you die, and you have to start again, and it's like, oh. There are a few levels like that, actually, in the real game, where you have to time going down through pistons. Or are there? Or are the pistons there to tell you don't go this way? You need to portal around them. I can't remember. Let me know in the comments if you want another Let's Play of Portal 2. It appears that was okay. Interactions between opposite gravities are not well understood and should be used sparingly. Just make sure I understand what's happening here. Because if I don't jump at the same time, one of them's going to go flying past the other way. Is this music grating on anybody else now? I said it was good. Didn't realise it was like a 20 second loop. I 
have to make test jumps before I... What if I swap the controls around? Does that work better on my mind? Not really. Flip. Oh no. Oh, I can do this. <laughs> That's kind of cool. Do this. And then this. I'm sure there's a reason why it takes a little while for it to test. Uh... Grab the box. I'm hanging on to the box. The box is trying to fall downwards despite the arrows being above. Because the aesthetics of the box are this box goes this way up. Which means the gravity is actually going against the arrows, which is fine, sure. And I can pull the box against gravity, despite me. I can pull the box against its own force of gravity, despite me not having any purchase at all from which to. Don't think too much about it, mate. Don't think too much about it. It's Let go of the box. Clearly doesn't need to be real. Clearly. I need to be... Grabbing the box from the other side. That was wrong. Okay, this is teaching me that I can grab a box from halfway up a block. is just a stacking puzzle, but I think I've already broken it by pushing it into the corner. Oh no, I can pull, can't I? I forget that I can pull sometimes. Oh god! Excuse me? If you go one pixel too far, you can't... Uh, you can, but it, it's tedious. Was that good? Okay. Associate scenarios. Oh, dearie me. No, wait. I really don't like that I can make any of them by any of controls. I, I really want in my mind for like maybe red and orange to always be like get rid of this. Make WASD only ever control red and orange, and make IJKL only ever control blue and orange, blue and yellow. I mean, maybe there's a puzzle that comes up where you would actually want to do that. I suppose you're limiting your design space if you can't control red and orange at the same time. But there's got to be, there's got to be a better way than this. Is there? Maybe there isn't. Which way round am I sending these dudes? What am I doing? Can't have anyone in, in these gaps, really. Can you? I really want you to. Probably need to grab hold of one, right? <laughs> it just looks so wrong.
Okay, that's fine. Leave that there. No. Get orange out now. Get orange in. No! Oh! I can't think of all the buttons at once. There's too many buttons for a human being to cope with. Alright, let go. Right, blue. Blue now being WASD, so this is S. Orange, yellow being... Okay. It's too hard! And not for any real, not for any real reason, just from a de dexterity point of view. I can't grab this box because I was one pixel too far away from it. Super annoying. That's super annoying. Wait, what am I trying to do? I'm trying to get well, this would work if the blue one was slightly like that. Yeah, that's I think that's what I want. Grab the box, please. Thank you. That's annoying. Who is going back and trying to do these in eight seconds? That's what I want to know. Losers. This is a big old knot, isn't it? Orange and then blue this way, which I can do. Just get the get the, the right flipping combination of pieces. No, yellow, orange is now this one. Christ. Orange needs to pick this guy up so that he can go back into his hole where he belongs. No, I can't let go of him. I can pick him up, but I can't like get the blue guy to walk into that hole. That's not how it works. Uh, just do it again, but do it properly this time, I guess, is the advice. Good advice for all puzzle games, really. Just do it again, but properly. But one of these good, one of these dudes is going to have to come out of a hole first. If I get the yellow guy out, can I actually get the blue guy into this hole? And then just swap, just swap holes. Oh god, the, the buttons. Okay, that has achieved nothing. Because I actually need one of these holes for the orange guy to go in so they can swap places. But it's a good start, isn't it? Because then I can get this and get orange and blue the right way around. Get red 
to go where I want. Oh, I need red to be this one. This is an example of why you would need... Yeah, get these stuck there like that. I don't like the time, so I've said 18,000 times in this video already, but I like the game. Even if it is a bit fiddly. But I'm okay with that. I'm okay with a bit of jank, you know? What was my plan here? <laughs> what was my plan here? I don't know. It has a very Congregate 2006 vibe to it, and I'm here for that. Yes, I was a Congregate guy, not a Newgrounds guy. Sue me. I guess if you go on... Oh no, that's not going to work. Sometimes I just want my guy to be on WASD. I don't care. I'd rather just control one at a time. Oh god, I can't do it. Can't can't press the right combination of buttons in my mind. This isn't gonna do what I want, is it? I'm gonna have to do No this to get this to hover, yeah. I'd better be controlling blue, I guess, in some meaningful way. Right now, orange can push this guy up, and then the red guy's dead, but doesn't matter. The red guy was irrelevant. Ah, I'm gonna stop because it's been half an hour, and you've, you're sick of me faffing around with the controls. That was, um, I forgot the name of the game, but it's not Boxos Employee Training Portal. It's this side up. There we go. It's up there in the window bar that you can't see. I like it. I think it shows promise. And I think I'd, I've been overly harsh sometimes on some of these videos. Um, but I think with this one it shows some definite proficiency with puzzle design. And then maybe keep an eye on this one, on Tsunami, with an S and a Z. Um, Class Tactics actually never came out, but it's not in this next fest demo. Planned release date to be announced, but the demo came out on the 5th of May 2023. So maybe they're working on two things at once. One title has been excluded based on your preferences. I don't know why that is. I just tried to get rid of it. It's probably it's probably animated again. Um, that's not fair. Thank you so much for watching. I did manage to. I know I said in the last video that this would be the last one, but I did manage to find what another interesting looking one, and that was this. So I've done that now. I won't belabor the point. Thank you for watching. Take it easy. I'll see you next time.